One of the important things to be able to do in PowerPoint is to configure the properties of the document itself and sometimes you need to even add some advanced properties. Now this is all part of objective 1.4 of the MOS uh, certification test for PowerPoint 2016 and this is very very straightforward and easy. So here I just have basically a blank PowerPoint slide and there's no other slides in here it's just for demonstration. I'm going to come to backstage here by clicking on file and then coming over just here on the info page the first tab at the top up here the info page I can look here at all of the properties. It tells me the size of the file, the number of slides, the number of hidden slides, the number of words, how many notes are included. It gives me a title option, but see here when I hover over all of these others, I don't get any kind of interaction with this interface here. But when I come to title, all of a sudden I get this white box with an orange border around it. And that means that I can change the title of this right here. Now, this is the title of the presentation itself. And I'm just going to put Demo Advanced Properties. I can keep going. And here for a tag, I could add something like MOS Objective 1.4. I could make comments about this. this. This is just a demo. I can add anything to these that I want to as long as the value that I'm pointing at is editable. The multimedia clip, see, I can't click on it. It just it won't come up. And that's because the computer system and the program itself is going to report these numbers, like the file size. You can't change the file size. That's reported by the computer. Now the template that is being used would be printed here. Status, category, subject, you can adjust all of these things and it's even going to put the name of the author and it'll even put the name of the person who was the last one to modify this file. Now this view of the properties, it, this is all of the properties. Now the default view is, I'm going to show it, reduce this here. And here is show all properties now as a link where I could expand it and this contracts it. Now this right here is the default view. This is all you're going to see by default. So you can hover and add a few of these values. But if, you, if you're needing to change something and you don't see it here in this list, then come down to show all properties and there you'll see it in this list. Now there's one other way that you can do this. You can come up to properties. Notice that this has a clickable drop down. I'm going to click this and select advanced properties. And this will open up an advanced properties dialog box. And it gives me a place to type the subject or author, manager, company, category. I really don't need this view at all because all of the things that you can type into this dialog box are available simply by clicking on show all properties. There's nothing new here other than more just general information about the file itself but the summary tab is where you could come in and enter some of that information. So just be aware that on the certification test or just in daily use anytime that you're creating files there may be times where you need to come back and add special information back in here. Things that we call metadata. Like what is the category of this? Well this might be for training. And so you can come in here and type whatever it is that you need to provide more information. Why would you want to do this? Because whenever you search your computer you could search your computer and say find all the PowerPoint files that have a tag called training and then it would help you to find these files a lot quicker.